like a late 70s electromechanical, towards the end of electromechanical pinball machines. After this, all the control stuff went electronic. So they were, instead of driving solenoids with uh, switches, they were using transistors that were all controlled by a computer in the head. Um, the play fields remain pretty much the same because you're moving the ball around. So you need an electromagnet with a solenoid and you apply power to it and it moves the ball. In this case, this is an electromechanical machine, so all the control is done with switches that are controlled by relays. It's basically considered a fixed program electromechanical computer. Um, I know that sounds like a big scary word, but basically it, it is a uh, fixed program because you cannot program it. You can change some of the features, but it's not really programmable. Everything's hardwired. There's, I don't know if you can see, but there is a ton of wire in there. There's one device here that could be akin to the clock. You'll see it, you'll see it rotate right there. That's, that's called the score motor. That comes into play when something needs to be counted. All the relays do are uh, supply route signals to the score units up there to do the counting. All the switches on the play field send information to this, to, uh, what's called the mechanical board on the bottom. And according to how it's wired up, it sends so many pulses off of this score motor. It's got different units like a ball count unit, a um, bonus count unit, depending on the machine. It just has different step up and step down counters. It's basically what they are, and they're totally electromechanical. So. What started out as a really simple game where you just put the ball in a pocket and you added up your own score eventually just got more and more complicated until the point where they pretty much had to have a computer on it because it just got so complicated.